You asked, we investigated, and we got it working. Squad on Steam Deck. Yes, this is running under Steam AOS, and it is running with verified anti-cheat. So, we'll come on to how this works in just a second, but first of all, a little bit of gameplay. This is on the low settings, and you'll see why a little bit later. But although it does look a little bit cartoony on low settings, it does hold 40 frames per second pretty much solid. And you're going to need it. You're going to need those frames per second in this game as I'm out of practice with this type of combat and also not great on the Steam Deck. It doesn't help me much. So how do we get squad working on Steam Deck? Because if you do try and start it up by default as it is unsupported, you will get an easy anti-cheat error. Online play may not be available, it certainly is not. It will just lock up when you try and join a multiplayer server. But thanks to the very helpful guys at Squad FM, there is an installation guide for Linux which tells you how to get this working. Now there are a couple of steps that you need to do slightly different here, because when I followed the guide exactly, it didn't work. So download the Valve's GitHub repo anti-cheat from the link that you see there. And if you try to extract it in the location that you said, you're most likely going to see an error like this where it errors, but it does extract the files. However, those files won't work. So what you need to do is just open up that archive and go down through the directories and locate the Steam Apps Compact Data 393380 folder, which is where your base will be to then go down into the PFX, Drive C, etc., as you see on the archive on the left. So just copy those two files at the bottom, and when you go into the 5.5 folder on Easy Anti-Cheat, you need to make sure it's empty. If it's not empty, you need to clear it out. And if it doesn't work or it crashes on launch, then what you need to do is repair the game files or verify the game files, and then start this process again, as it will wipe out this folder. So the second part is you need to come into here and change the owner permissions to can only view content. If you change the advanced permissions to modify or read only, it also will not work. So make sure you just do it from that drop down list there. And then come into the compatibility and make sure you're running GE Proton 714, which you can get through Proton Up QT, or you can try Proton Experimental. Now, when you start this up, you'll notice that it starts up just fine and doesn't give you that error. Now I have only played on unmodded servers as the modded servers have crashed on me when downloading the file so you may or may not have better luck than me downloading the mod version but on the unmodded servers I've played on a couple and for over half an hour each time and without an issue on Proton 7.14. So as you can see here I didn't quite full screen the window but I just wanted to make sure that it all worked and I did get sucked into the game and played for a good half an hour or so but I did leave it on medium settings and it was very stuttery, although it does look really quite good. The jitter and the lag spikes from the graphics were really quite jarring and made it very difficult to actually shoot anybody, even though it's difficult enough to shoot anybody as it is. And this is perfectly demonstrated as I run into this seemingly empty building to be mowed down by absolutely no idea what. Unless that was somebody in the corner, I just noticed. Let me know in the comments below if that was a person. So, back to game mode now. Once you've done that change, you can run game mode quite happily. And I knocked the settings down to standard low. So it does look a bit different, but it does hold 30 to 40 frames per second absolutely perfectly. No lag spikes or jitter. And was really working very well. So there you go. That's how you get squad working on Steam Deck. And maybe this anti-cheat fix will work on a few other games so we'll test it out and let you know. Let us know in the comments below if there's a game that you are interested in and we'll see if it's in our library and we can get it working. Thanks for watching and see you next time.